Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. And today it is time for an empties video. Now, you know, I like to collect all my empty skincare from the last three or four months and share them all with you in one big epic video. And I was going through the empties in my basket and I realized like everything in here are like excellent empties. These are all some of my favorite products. So I'm calling this round of empties my A plus empties. If you're so ready to find out what they are, give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump right in. First up is the Benton Snail Bee Ultimate Toner. Now this was a new to me product. I really love the Benton Snail Bee line. I've used it for many, many years and it has always served me super well. The toner is a newer addition. I don't know if it came out in 2022 or 2021, but it's a fairly new product and like I loved this. It didn't last me very long. This is about 150 milliliter toner and you know I go through toner super fast. So this probably only lasted me like maybe three, four weeks, but I loved it down to the very last drop. And what I really enjoyed about it was the texture because it was like a really runny, um, like a liquidy type of toner. It wasn't a gel type toner, but it had this like body, this slight thickness and bounciness to it that just really plumped my skin up and it felt so, so good. I was using this when the weather was a lot warmer and my skin really wanted to feel really juicy but not overwhelmed with thick textures and that's exactly what this did. Next up is the Round Lab 1025 Dokdo Toner. Now this was another new to me toner. I actually used it around the same time as the Benton. I got really lucky with toners um, and I loved this as soon as I, I used it. It's different than Benton though because it definitely is more of that traditional watery thin type of texture there's no body to this there's no bounciness to it necessarily but when you get this onto your skin even though it's a thin texture it's really deeply hydrating on the skin which is what I, I desperately seek I have such thirsty skin um, and I have really high standards for toner so I was really impressed with this one and I haven't gotten a back up of it yet I know that's really surprising because I have some deep love for this and I really want this back in my routine but like let's be pragmatic right I have a lot of skincare care um, that I am currently working to empty and I have a lot of toners open right now. So until I get that a little bit down, I won't be purchasing anything until that point in time. But like when I do, this is high on the list because it is so soothing, so refreshing, so hydrating. Another toner that I love is the Make Preem Relief Me Essence Toner. You've heard me talk about this all the time. I'm pretty sure like one of these has been in uh, my empties videos like for over two years now. <laughs> it's been a long time. There's always an empty. There's always a backup. I have a backup. I probably don't have to tell you too much about this one because I love it so much, but it's actually kind of a nice combination of what Benton brings to the skin and what Round Lab brings to the skin because it still has that watery, lightweight texture to it without stickiness or thickness, but the deep replenishing hydration. It's all in this bottle. It's a huge bottle and I still manage to empty one every like three or four months. So this is the beauty of Chasan ginseng essence water and another kind of longtime favorite of mine. I've gone through quite a few bottles of this and I actually really like to use this as a toner. Even though it's called an essence water, it does have more of that watery toner like texture to it that just seems to play really well on my skin as a toner with some essence like benefits. There's a good amount of ginseng in here and ginseng always treats my skin so well because it really helps with the blood circulation of your skin. It can give you a really beautiful, healthy, lit from within glow to your skin, which I am always seeking for in my skincare routine. I want my skin to look really healthy and glowy. Ginseng is an ingredient that really helps to deliver that, but it's also a very potent antioxidant. So it's giving you some skin uh, protective qualities with it as well. So I love that it, it's kind of like an all-in-one. I don't necessarily have to grab another essence when I'm using this. If I'm short on time or just, you know, trying to be minimal or not like completely like push my my mind's bandwidth and like trying to create a skincare routine I know I can just double up on this as my toner as my essence and like sometimes even as my serum to keep things really uncomplicated so I really like this one and I actually I have quite a few <laughs> bottles of this in my back stock this is the peach and the lily ginger melt oil cleanser and it matches my manicure <laughs> um, I really enjoy this cleansing oil I did name 
Ultimate as one of my favorites in spring of 2022. I really enjoy this cleansing oil. And I mean, you know, there's not always a lot to say about cleansing oils. You know, they definitely need to clean your skin effectively, grab onto all of the makeup and sunscreen, wash it away cleanly, rinse away without any kind of filminess to it. This definitely does that. What's unique about this one in my mind is it's a really enjoyable, thick, textured uh, oil cleanser and um, it has this almost like cushiony pillowy type of feel on the skin that is just like a sensory thing that I really enjoy it's different than some of my other favorite cleansing oils um, and so it's novel just in the sense that it's different but that like pillowy cushiony luxurious kind of feel on the skin is just like mm. so this is the beauty of Jason ginseng cleansing oil and this is different from peach and lily in that it has a, a little bit more of like a medium type of texture to it from a cleansing oil. It's not totally thin, um, but it's on the lighter side. And I really do enjoy that texture as well for different reasons. Um, I do find this to be really nice for getting some grits out of the skin, you know, those little hardened bits of sebum that can kind of pop out of your pores when you're really working an oil cleanser into your skin. If you're prone to clogs, you might have um, experienced that. This is really good for that. So sometimes I'll just put this on my bare skin, no makeup, no sunscreen, but just massage it in to help like release some of those grits and sebaceous filaments in my skin. And it's just like so satisfying. Satisfying. So I have not one, not two, but three empties of the Agency Future formula. This is how I get my tretinoin. And these bottles are good for about two months. So I really do have quite a buildup of empties here to show you apparently. But I am going super strong with this. I've been using Agency now. I'm going into my second year using it. I've been on tretinoin for going to my third year. So they've been with me on my tretinoin journey for a while now. I do also have an empty dark spot formula from Agency. And this uses hydroquinoin to help with like sun damage, hyperpigmentation. And um, I do have some sun damage that I'm still currently working on. It's a really long journey. And I've gotten some really meaningful results using the dark spot formula. And I did want to talk about this because the dark spot formula is definitely an A plus empty for me with hydroquinoin in it. But as you may know, this is an ingredient that you don't want to be using um, long term on your skin. You do want to give your skin a break and cycle on and off of this ingredient. That's why I like Agency because they keep track of that for you. Um, but I'm currently cycled off of the ingredient right now. They do have a dark spot formula with other brightening ingredients in it like kojic acid and resveratrol. And I do like it. I personally don't find that to be A plus because like, I mean, what's gonna be better than hydroquinone, right? So currently I'm cycled off of this right now and I'm not loving the replacement formula, but when hydroquinone comes back, Definitely an A plus empty. These are the Brio Geo Mango and Cherry Balancing Shampoo and Conditioner, and I am obsessed obsessed with these. Now, first and foremost, they smell like gummy bears. That's like the most important thing you need to know. <laughs> but I really enjoy what this has done for my hair. So I have been using the Shiseido Tsubaki uh, shampoo and conditioner for many, many years. I've used the moist line. I've used the repair line. Love, love, love. Those are not out of my heart at all. But I have to say between traveling this summer in Greece, moving from an apartment to a brand new house, and like definitely the quality of water here is different. I don't know if that just kind of like threw things out of whack for me, but my scalp at the end of this summer was so imbalanced. It was like really oily, but like also very dry and itchy at the same time. And so I was definitely craving something different. And I was getting some success with the extra oiliness at my roots with like scalp scrubs or clarifying shampoos. But I find that I can't use those long term because a little bit of clarifying at the scalp is fine, but a lot of clarifying can really throw you off balance. It can strip your, just like your face, it can strip the oils, the essential oils from your scalp that can lead to overproduction of oil and just kind of making things worse and worse and worse. It's all about balance, right? With um, skin, but also with your scalp too. And that's definitely what I was needing. And that's what these delivered, which was really nice. They definitely helped to remove all the excessive oil while still being gentle enough and non-stripping at my scalp so that it doesn't make things worse and worse and worse. But they're also moisturizing enough for me too. I was actually really surprised that the conditioner was really uh, nourishing um, for my hair because 
as oily as my scalp can sometimes get. My hair ends can be very dry. These are pretty expensive, I have to admit. Um, these are about $60 for the set, and I think that's a little bit outrageous, not gonna lie. But I will say, I bought these at the end of August, and I just finished this like the day before I started filming this video. So there's a really good value, like especially for a lot of hair like me, um, a really good amount of value. It doesn't seem like these would last long. They seem small, but for me, I got a lot of use out of them. This is the Biosense Squalane Plus Copper Peptide Rapid Plumping Serum. This is something I have to admit, I have fallen deeper and deeper in love with the more that I've used it. And um, I was really dedicated to this. I think it was like uh, October, and November I was really focusing in on this a lot partially because I had had it open for a while and I wanted to empty it but also because it just seemed to work for my skin in any given situation you know copper peptide is one of my favorite peptides for well aging it's something that I like to infuse into my skincare routine but I love the texture of this because it's just the right balance between really plump um, kind of like juicy hydration and just the lightest amount of balancing moisture that is like exactly what my skin wants my skin wants like a lot of hydration and just wants a little bit of moisture to hug it all in and it feels so good in this serum because it's never heavy Sometimes my favorite moisturizing serums don't always play well with my other skincare products, don't always feel great on my skin in any given moment. This has felt good in the springtime, in the summertime, in the wintertime. It has always suited my skin no matter what I put on before it or after it. It just always works. And so I always appreciate those products that are hardworking, but I don't have to think about so much. You know what I mean? I like stress-free skincare. Even if I'm putting a lot of products on my skin, I like to keep things in my mind what feels simple. And so anything that I know it's just always going to work is always going to address multiple skin goals is always going to have a place in my skincare routine and that's how I feel about this so neon modulating glucosides do we need to say too much about this uh, you know I absolutely love this I use it all the time and I use it for kind of similar to the biosance it just kind of always seems to suit my routine no matter what I am trying to achieve you know, first and foremost, this is something that I really appreciate for irritated skin because my skin is sensitive. Irritation can strike at any moment, right? You just never know when you're going to be dealing with a little bit more sensitized or irritated skin. And so that's a big reason why I keep this around so much. And like, you know, I have multiple backups of this. Like, that's like never a question in anybody's mind, right? You know, I have another bottle once this is empty. Um, and this, it'll probably be in the next video, <laughs> the one I have open now. Um, so this is just something that I like to have on hand because it works so well for calming my skin down very, very quickly. But honestly, I've been really liking this too. It's just like a skin healthy type of serum um, because it keeps my skin really strong and healthy. Lots of amino acids, very hydrating, barrier supportive, antioxidant support in here. It's not just about calming irritated skin, although that's definitely its hero ability. Like it's very special in that aspect. This is the Argerlene Solution 10%. Now I have to say, this is definitely an A plus product for me. I like it. I recommend it and I enjoyed using it. I think it gives nice benefits for the skin. I don't see myself purchasing this again anytime soon. There's a couple of reasons for that. Number one, I have a lot of products from The Ordinary right now and a lot of their peptide based products and some from Neod as well. So I'm just like kind of covered on that front. So it wouldn't be wise for me to go out and buy this again, right? Um, but a deeper reason why is because I do enjoy it ingredients that can give multiple benefits to the skin or um, you know formulations that have more than one star ingredient and this has just got one star ingredient that has one uh, good benefit for the skin so they're using acetyl hexapeptide 8 that's the argerlene and um, it helps to firm and lift the skin it is known as the botox peptide and it gives a beautiful effect to the skin but that's all it does um, it doesn't work on fine lines and wrinkles it doesn't stimulate collagen it doesn't have like wound healing abilities or hyper pigmentation benefits all it does is firm and lift the skin so that's just how I feel about this product like I said I still think this is a plus I really liked using this especially um, underneath my eyes where I want a little bit more lifting and firming it works but I'm just saying like as somebody who has a lot of products already who's always looking to explore more 
This feels a little one trick pony for me, but I think it's very affordable, very effective. So this is the TM Vita B3 Source Serum. And this has like a similar um, feeling in my heart as the Argerlene from The Ordinary. This is A plus for sure. This is something I, I, I often recommend in my videos and I will continue to do so, but this is not something that you're probably going to see in my personal skincare routine going forward. And I, I covered this a little bit already in, I can't remember what video it was, but recently in January. And I, I have to tell you that like 10% of niacinamide used to be really good for my skin. Back when I was a lot more congested um, and back when I was a lot more oily, this is pre-tretinoin use, right? 10% um, of niacinamide was actually really helpful for addressing a lot of the congestion and texture on my skin, helping to address some of the redness and inflammation. And and I do find that it was helpful for overproduction of, of oil on my skin. So very, very helpful. And now that my skin has changed, um, I am a lot more dry, partially because of my tretinoin use, partly just because like I am getting older um, and my skin type has changed because of that. Um, I just don't find that 10% of niacinamide really suits my skin anymore. And honestly, I knew I had this open for a really long time. I used the rest of it up on my back and on my chest where I do get a little bit more congestion and it did help so love it we'll continue to recommend it definitely an a plus but you may not see it in my personal routines and going forward i have another the ordinary product this is their pycnogenol five percent and i love this so so much pycnogenol is an amazing potent antioxidant um i am really impressed with its its benefits overall but why i really like it and why i think it has a certain edge in my mind over maybe some more popular antioxidants is it has this really amazing ability to soothe the skin whenever i put this on there's just like that ah calming sensation and my, when my skin is really irritated it feels so so good it seems to help with inflammation um, and redness on the skin too and I think it just overall contributes to healthier stronger skin plus all the antioxidant benefits that like you could possibly need interesting texture on this I some I usually treat this almost like an oil in my skincare routine because it does have a rich oil type of feel to it and so sometimes I'll just switch this out with whatever oil I'm using I have to tell you I did stock up on this on the Black Friday sale because I love this so so much it feels so amazing on the skin now speaking of oil this is the ordinary bee oil which you know I'm also very obsessed with and probably when it comes to True traditional oils, not pycnogenol, but true traditional oils. This is probably one of my top two favorite oils. Um, it just really suits my skin so, so well. Something else that has a really nice calming anti-inflammation effect on the skin while offering a good amount of moisture without being too heavy on my skin. This is definitely a medium weight oil and that seems to suit my skin. And don't you worry, boo, I have so many backups of this that I got on the sale. This is the Cosrx Advanced Nail Radiance Dual Essence. And I have to tell you, it kind of forgot about this product um, for a little bit. You know, I just, it's embarrassing. I just have so much skincare. It's like, it's part of the job, right? But this kind of got pushed to the back of the cabinet and then I couldn't see it for the longest time. And then recently in the last like two months, I found it again and I was like, oh yeah, this is amazing. And then I emptied it. Um, this is so good. So it's like the famous Cosrx snail on one side, it's dual chamber. And then on the other side, it's this milky, slightly moisturizing niacinamide portion they're using five percent of niacinamide which is my favorite percentage you get all the benefits of niacinamide without the potential irritation as I was saying with TM you know 10% of niacinamide might be a little bit too much for my skin at this point in time 5% is really what's suiting my skin right meeting it where it's at now 5% is really what floats my boat and so this um, is such a beautiful kind of upgrade really on the Cosrx snail secretion the kind of the well aging upgrade by the way I have a backup <laughs> not one but two empties of Stradia liquid gold it's been a while since I've done an empties video huh <laughs> I have two empties I actually just recently emptied um, one of these bottles like last week so it just made it into the video and um, I don't have to tell you too much about this you know that this is a plus for me because I use this in the morning I use this at night 
in every skincare routine. I rarely skip out on this. Um, and this is just what keeps my skin really healthy. It keeps my moisture barrier really strong. Um, this is the older bottle and I noticed that the, like the silk screen print, the white, um, would transfer onto my hands. It would rub off and then it would be kind of annoying. But the most recent bottle that I had did not do that at all. So I think that they've corrected that issue. Um, but either way, super good. You know I have a backup. I already opened it up. Like we're all good on the liquid gold front. These are the Cosrx Advanced Snail Hydro Gel eye patch and love these they are so juicy they're so plumping and hydrating talking about rediscovering a love for snail um, I think that these make excellent under eye gels because they really infuse the under eye with so much hydration they really kind of plump and tense out the under eye and I don't know about you I don't know about your under eye goals or concerns but whenever I'm using an, a, a hydro gel like an eye hydro gel I really want it to smooth and kind of lift and plump the under eye so it doesn't look quite as hollow so it looks really Really awake and very youthful and these do it so well because snail really is able to just go in and just plump the skin and when you can plump the skin you're often smoothing it out and that's reducing the look of fine lines so I love this so much this is the inky list caffeine eye cream and talking about another product I kind of forgot I had <laughs> I forgot how good this was this is really kind of a simple eye cream. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, the caffeine really helps to depuff the under eye area. So if you ever get like really puffy under eyes, I don't get that very often, but I do sometimes. And I find this to be really helpful, especially like when I'm having like um, allergy symptoms, um, when my eyes get really like watery and itchy, they can kind of get a little bit puffy. And this seems to help with that. Um, but I really like the texture of this too, because it's more of like a gel cream type of texture. And I really enjoy that type of texture for eye creams in like the warmer months because it's not as thick um, as like a traditional cream or maybe as greasy. I feel like they just like sink into the skin a lot better. These are the Purito All Care Recovery Sika Aid Pimple Patches. And not much to say here, but I will say um, these are A plus for me because I'm always buying these. I find these to be one of the better value pimple patches out there. The Costarex Master Patch, I also really like and they're very very affordable, but they don't give you as many as Purito does. Like I think with Costrex you get like 24 maybe, but with Purito you get like 54. So I always find these to be, oh, 51. I inflated their numbers by three. This is the beauty of Jason Relief Sun Rice Plus Probiotic Sunscreen. And I have so many of these. <laughs> I, um, I have multiple backups of this. This is I can't remember which empty this is. This is multiple empties. This has been in a lot of my empties videos because you know I love this so much. It was released last year, 2021 last year. I know it's 2023, I'm still getting used to that. It was released at the end-ish of 2021 and ever since then, it's just been a long-term affair with this sunscreen. I found others that I like and that I enjoy that grab my attention, but I always seem to come back to this one because it's so good. And this is really my go-to in winter time because it's got just a slight, um, extra amount of moisture that my skin always needs in the winter. This is the Pyeongkang Yul Black Tea Enriched Cream. And I have to say, this is one of my new favorite moisturizers. Like this is the A plus empties video, right? Like everything in here is excellent, but like it's not every day that you come across a new like favorite moisturizer. And I have to say, this is probably going to be Ooh, I don't know if I'm jinxing myself by saying a new all-time favorite moisturizer, but like we're getting pretty stinking close. 100% do I have a backup? Yes, of course I do. Um, but this cream served me so, so well. So it's really buttery. It's really rich. It's very nourishing. And it has like a nice amount of occlusivity. Now, you know, I absolutely love Illy Yoon um, and I still love it. I'm actually currently using it now that this is empty. I'm, I'm kind of conserving my uh, my back stock of this. Um, I'm using Illy Yoon now and I love it. We're in the dead of winter. It's still very cold. My skin is very dry. But I have to say this is a little bit more nourishing, a little bit more rich, uh, a, a lot more moisturizing on the skin than Ilyun. So that's kind of where it lands in like my universe of favorite moisturizers. This is definitely for when my skin is the most dry. Um, this is definitely a winter um, moisturizer for me. Maybe I definitely should open my back up before winter is over. But this treated my skin so, so well. And it's just like... You know how I am about textures, but like whenever this like rich, buttery, luxurious, 
silky texture just like envelops my skin. It feels so, so good. So this really just hits everything that I need a moisturizer to do. Plus it feels amazing on the skin. A plus empty for sure. And that my friends is the end of this A plus empties video. I hope you enjoyed this format. Um, it's not every day that like every empty skincare empty is excellent, but I feel like this round of empties was excellent. I am curious to know what have you emptied recently and like what grade would you give it? A, B, C, D, or even an F? Let me know in the comment box below. If you love this video, if you love empty skincare, if you like to watch skin fluid who do empty their skincare, um, please uh, consider hitting subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do release a lot of new skincare content throughout the week, including long form videos, and I do shorts too. So turn on notifications so you're never out of the loop. I love you so much. Thank you for being here with me today. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.